going to perform an ankle break or pressure index test and we'll assume we've rested the patient for 10 minutes prior to starting and during that time we may have taken a history, looked at the limbs, maybe had a palpated pulses first of all and I'll now go through the procedure of doing it which should take less than about 10 minutes. So first of all I'll explain to the patient that I'm going to be doing blood pressures on your arms and your legs mm -hmm. and take consent and I'll get my cuff and I'll come to the arm first of all. I'll ask the patient to put their arm out to the side by showing them and then I'll put the cuff around the upper arm above the elbow at about two centimetres there. I'll ask the patient to bring their arm in and just rest it gently on there. I'll take the pulse and I can use either radial or the brachial pulse to listen to. In this demonstration I'll use the radial pulse. I'll usually put the gel on the feet and come back to that point to pick up more gel. So I'll get some gel first of all on my Doppler, turn the Doppler on, ask the patient if it's okay to rest the Doppler on their tummy, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to anchor my hand to the patient's wrist, pointing the Doppler to about 45 degrees towards the heart. I'm going to inflate and listen up to about 120, 140, a bit higher, the pulse is now gone. I'll get my finger on the trigger and deflate slowly. Waiting for that first sound, deflate completely, make a mental note of that sound. I'll then take the cuff off. I'm going to repeat the procedure on the other arm because we need to collect both breaking pressures and we will be using the higher of the two brake pressures in order to calculate the ankle brake pressure index. So again, I'll just explain to the patient I'm taking blood pressure on this arm, and we'll come back in. This time we'll demonstrate the brachial pulse. So I'll go to the elbow, and I'll slide across the crease of the brachial crease, uh, elbow crease there until I find the pulse, a nice loud one. I anchor to the patient's arm, close my valve, inflate, one more inflation after the last sound goes out, get my finger on the trigger, deflate slowly. I make a mental note of when the pressure came back in. down at the bottom, ask the patient if we take the cuff off, and then bring my kit down towards the legs of the patient. I'll explain now that I'm going to do the blood pressure on the lower limbs, and put the cuff on the first ankle about a centimetre or two before the malleolus. I might want to write down my results from the previous brachial pressures there, and I'll get my Doppler put it somewhere safe and stable and then I'll be looking for the dorsalis pedis pulse first of all by sliding across the foot again I anchor to the patient's foot so my Doppler is nice and stable there and then I can inflate Till the sound is gone. And the sound has come back in there, deflate. Repeat the procedure on the posterior tibial pulse. We'll inflate a bit more and then come down slowly. There we go. Again, make a note of that pressure, remove the cuff, and finally do the pressures on the remaining lower limb. I've put the cuff on upside down here to make sure that the tubing is out of the way of all the gel at the ankle. So 
again I'll search for the dorsalis pedis pulse sliding across the foot. Plenty of gel. Can't locate the pulse in this area easily, doesn't come down to between the first and the second toe. And you may find a good sound there that you can use to take the pressure of the anterior tibial and dorsalis pedis artery. And again, deflate slowly until that sound comes in. Another place you can look is across the ankle crease there, so we'll just have another listen. We can hear a fairly quiet sound there, which might mean we're off the artery a little bit. But we've had a good reading from this point here. I'll now move on to the post-tibial pulse behind the ankle. Same principle, find the best sound I can find. Inflate up, you notice the foot moves a bit when we inflate, which is why it's important to anchor with the Doppler onto the skin, so you stay on the pulse. Sounds completely gone, we'll deflate slowly. There we go, first sound and deflate completely to release all the air from the cuff. We've now completed the ankle break and pressure index test. We'll make a record of the results there work it out and consider it in the context of the clinical problem presenting, be it pain, claudication or rest pain or a wound on the foot or leg.